Hi, I am Donald J. Bell and I am a CASDM administrator. If you have modified the MDB scheme and want to incorporate the new fields into your custom reports in JasperSoft, you can update the out-of-the-box domains as shown in this video. We are now in the home page of the CASDM interface and we will see how to add an attribute alias. Attribute alias allows you to include columns from related tables. Let's see how we can add an attribute alias in CASDM. From the Administration tab, select the options I am selecting to create an attribute alias. Complete the field information as shown in this video and click Save. Now you can go ahead and add the custom attribute to a reporting domain. From the home page of the Jasper Reports server, select Domains, View List to see the list of available domains. In this case, I will select the Incident Management domain. Right click to edit the domain. Now, select the Edit with Domain Designer option. Please note that by default the Display tab is displayed. Click the Tables tab. Scroll down to verify whether the new attribute Z category in it that you added in CASDM is available in the domain as a field. I cannot locate the attribute in this list. Let's go ahead and see how we can add the custom attribute manually to a domain. Let us go back to the display tab and from the resources section, select the table list. Expand the CASDIN node and scroll down to view where the new custom attribute that we added is located. The selected table contains fields that the MDB schema is aware of. Click the Joins table to pull this attribute to the Incident Management domain. Select the Incident Management domain. Select the Z category in it custom attribute. Select Add to Selected Set to add it to the Incident Management domain. Please note at this point of time addition of custom attributes to tables already present in the domain schema are supported. Please do not add, or delete, or modify existing tables, derived tables, and joins. You can also go ahead and edit the label for the custom attribute you just pulled into the domain. Click Edit and change the name as per your preference. Click Save to save the changes. Click Submit to complete the process of adding custom attributes to a domain. In case, if you have a non-tenanted environment, Follow the CA Service Management documentation on how to edit a domain for a non-tenanted environment. Additionally, you can also create a new ad hoc view for the custom attribute that is added to the domain. I will show you briefly on how to do it. Please follow the CASDM documentation for more information. Select the Incident Management domain and choose Data option. So, this is the custom attribute that we added earlier for tracking incorrect incidents. Select the fields that you want to generate a report for. On the new ad hoc view page, change the cross tab to table. Expand the incident management fields, drag and drop or double click the fields that you would like to add to the table columns and groups. You can group by category and can even add a filter. Additional custom attributes can be added in the same way. Thank you for watching this video. 
it is recommended that you take a backup of your domains and save it under a different unique resource ID before performing the procedures shown in this video. Please refer to the CA Service Management Jasper Reports documentation about some of the best practices you must consider before performing these procedures. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.